Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be learning two things which is uh, copy pasting the stuffs and using the clip, uh, clipboard okay so the first thing what you have to do is you have to go to newfile.txt and create a new file which should be initially empty and save it okay now after you have done like how to create this file just uh, go to this space here you can see right blank space right click it and uh, click on add then click on file then add the name like whatever name you want to add okay then open main.xaml then go to here and search it as okay go to activities and search here as sequence okay so first we have to add the sequence after you have added the sequence uh, what we'll be doing here is we'll be uh, writing the um, get selected text okay It is actually copy selected text uh, so you have to uh, means uh, drag and drop here and when you have uh, dropped it here right uh, here what you have to see is the result should be stored somewhere so for that you have to create variables so the variables are uh, none initially so we'll be creating a variable here whatever the result uh, which is getting copied that should be stored in a variable case suppose okay and you have to click on this one as tick mark and this gets true here so and after that you have to not do anything after the uh, getting uh, means the uh, text is copied that has to be uh, output right whatever the text has been um, copied that has to be pasted and that has to be the output right so let's see the copy text is stored in this result let's see if the result is having that code or not so for that uh, we'll be getting a message box and what what's the text the text has been stored in k let's see if the k has that selected text or not so uh, for this first thing what we'll be doing is after we have done this much we'll be um, debugging the file and initially it should be not selected so whatever i copy that should be saved in a variable k and that case value should be displayed when it shows execution started then you have to go to the notepad and whatever you have written that you have to copy uh, from the start till the end then just quit don't do anything so it's showing in the message uh, whatever the message i had written here okay so that's uh, one of the thing uh, for just copying now we'll be learning how to use the clipboard okay so for the clipboard uh, what we'll be doing is a message box will be here we uh, can add it later copy the selected text this will be copied somewhere okay and that has to be set to clipboard so we'll be setting the uh, thing to clipboard set to clipboard we'll add so whatever i have copied that should be uh, set to the keyboard so k is the content which is present i have copied and that is stored in the variable k that variable k is set to the clipboard when it is set to the clipboard then the next thing what i'll be doing is get from clipboard okay uh, i'll be setting it to the cl uh, clipboard then i'll be getting it from the clipboard and what i'm getting from the clipboard that uh, is uh, directly from here and uh, whatever i got from clipboard that where i have to store okay so if you're getting confused i'll explain you once again see we are copying some text fine okay after that uh, we are copied the text that is stored in a variable k okay k has that value and k is set to the clipboard clipboard is just like a home okay whatever we have copied that is sent to a home from that home we are getting something if you are getting something that has to be stored somewhere right because it was in home now we are taking it out of home we have to send it to another home that another home i am uh, storing in result okay that uh, another home no, uh, name is s after i have stored in s after creating the variable i have stored it in s then i have to see if that is uh, right or not means whatever is stored in s is same as that uh, which i had copied or not for that i will be uh, using uh, writing to a file i can also use message box but uh, to give you the more uh, information write text file okay this is the thing which i will be using from the uh, get clipboard we are directly writing it to the file and what is the text i'm writing it's stored in s right whatever i got from clipboard that's stored in the variable s and where it has to be written that I have to specify here since i've created a new file.txt here i'll be writing that in quotes okay new file.txt so if i've written this much let's uh in the program and see So initially um, the new file.txt is empty as in the starting of the program I showed you I erased uh, all the content now I'll be uh, copy pasting it I mean um, selecting the text so just uh, by my selection it should uh, do all the tasks okay 
So let's um, give some other name here. Apple is a fruit. Okay, so let's just copy here like this. Then don't do anything. The uh, program will detect that it is copied and it will uh, write to the file and the program will be over. Then we'll be seeing the file if that content is present or not. Okay, so uh, I've just um, selected this one and the execution got over. Now let's go to the new file.txt if that text is present or not. So find that the text is present. Okay, so that's all uh, what is there uh, using the clipboard. And uh, that's all for this video. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.